I've had to turn it off, it is so cold. Hi guys, welcome back to Jack's Vlogs. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Logic 10,000 BTU air conditioner from Curry's. Uh, it's gonna be replacing this challenge unit, which we've got down here, which is only a 5K unit. We bought this from Argos. It's not necessarily as good as what they make it out to be. Um, so we actually bought the 10K BTU unit um, for the same price as the 5,000 from Argos. So in today's video, we're gonna be comparing the two. We're not really comparing, but just seeing how good the 10,000 BTU unit is after I've already used the 5K from Argos. We'll uh, do a little bit of a comparison anyway, and then later on, I'm gonna be taking back the uh, 5K unit to Argos. So let's get into the video. So we're just gonna open the box now. Now the first thing obviously you will notice is the unit is a, a lot bigger than the 5000 BTU unit we've got for comparison. In terms of parts in the box, this is not gonna be a very exciting uh, unboxing video. Uh, there's a few of the window connectors for the, um, the external hose and things like that. So we'll take them out. It all actually looks very similar to the 5K unit, I've gotta say. We'll just see what else is in here. Yeah, it's exactly the same foam padding. Anyone I think they actually came from the same factories, which is funny. Um, okay, let's just take the rest of these bits out. What have we got in here? Remote and things like that, boring bits. Uh, something in here, the cable, that's a little bit odd. Let's just see. Probably not being packed quite as well as the 5K unit. And then hopefully if we take this off, it doesn't actually look like it's been packed properly, I'd say, but maybe it's just their way of doing it. Hopefully it's not already been opened. So what we've got inside, yeah, let's see all the same parts, I reckon. This is a sliding window connector for the hose. So if you've got slidey upy down windows, you can connect your external vent to that, the external hose as well. And then here it is, the main unit. I'm gonna to have to put the camera down now. Uh, one thing to bear in mind, this is, is around 32 kilos in weight. This little one is already quite heavy, but this is a lot heavier. That is one thing to consider uh, if you're not the strongest person in the world. So we're gonna get this out now and we'll put the two side by side. So as you can see, we've managed to get the 10,000 BTU unit out of the box. Size wise, I mean, it's, you know, it's quite a big, bit bigger than the 5K unit. In terms of the depth, they're actually both about the same. Um, it does feel heavier. I don't know if it feels 10 kilos heavier. I don't know if that's packaged weight. It's definitely heavier though. They both got this um, blue tape on, which is a little bit weird. I don't know if that's something to do with the manufacturing process or packaging or what, but we're gonna connect all the hoses up now. We've got the unit in place. As you can see, they're very easy to set up. Uh, you basically need to connect the venting hose. Now you should have the window mount kit really for this, but we're gonna, um, for now, we're just gonna do it for demonstration purposes without. You've got the connector for the pipe. It's very simple. The pipe connects to the connector and then the connector clips into the machine. Very easy like that. We just found out something else uh, which it has, which I didn't know about, which was swing mode. So it looks like the vents have got swing on as well, which is pretty cool. Got temperature dials, fan speed, there are adjustable fans on this. You can set timers, and I think uh, there's a special sleep mode as well. I'm having to stand to the side a little bit now we've got the unit on. It is actually uh, quite powerful. It's, now it is really important that when you first get an aircon unit, you need to run it uh, for five or 10 minutes uh, just to allow the refrigerant system to start working basically. If the air doesn't feel cold straight away, just give it a little while and then um, basically just give it some time to set itself up. And uh, one thing I didn't see, yeah, it has got a swing mode. So as you can see now, the little vent is swinging open and closed, which is a nice little feature as well. In terms of noise, it's not too bad. I'd say it's probably, um, I'd say it's probably even quieter than the 5000 BTU unit. If we've got three adjustable fan modes, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. But if we go to low, it is actually rather quiet, which is nice. I think I can... I could, I could sleep with it on personally anyway, so we've got medium, high, I'm guessing we're on auto now, so yeah, I mean, you, the, the, obviously there is definitely kicking out more air 
than the 5000 BTU unit. It is going to cool a room down much quicker. It's, it's a lot more powerful in terms of the output. It is, you can tell it's twice the output, uh, which would definitely help. And it means you can use it in bigger rooms if you need to as well, which is nice. So just for the people that are interested in the actual sound level, I'm going to be quiet in a minute so you can see the level of the unit. Uh, as you can see, I'm probably a metre and a half, no more than two metres, so I'm lying on the bed and uh, we're going to see what the, uh, the noise level is. This is with the unit on uh, full uh, maximum fan mode as well. So it runs about 60 on maximum fan. Uh, what we'll do, just for comparison, we'll turn the fan down now. Let's get the remote. Let's try it on low, see if that makes a lot of difference. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. What I would say, well, obviously these um, phones aren't the most accurate for measuring decibels, but they do give a rough idea. We're getting um, a lot of noise. Uh, what is it on here? Probably around the 100 hertz mark. So there is going to be um, some rumble as well. Now, this is one of the problems we have with the other unit. Oh, the hose has just fallen off. Sorry, so as I was saying, the hose actually fell off the unit and it's that powerful, it's blown itself off. Uh, one of the problems we had with the units uh, was with the low frequency vibration. If you put in an aircon unit upstairs, you might find that there's quite a lot of vibration downstairs underneath. So I went to, uh, I think it was Screwfix, if you're here in the UK, or if you're in the US, you just need some sort of padding material. This is just a five pound mat from Screwfix, but this will help the, the bottom end rumble from the machine. It's not very audible if you're in the actual room, but if you go downstairs uh, using one upstairs, you might find that there are quite a lot of low frequency vibrations downstairs, like a washing machine and things like that. As you can see, we bought one of these. These are really good, by the way. If you've not got a, a thermostat in the room, a thermometer, whatever you want to call it, one of these off Amazon is really good. Now, when I started doing this video, the room was at 24 degrees. So it's lowered it down two degrees as well, and that's with the window not properly ventilated as well, which is good. Another good thing about having an aircon unit, it will lower the humidity level in the room as well, so cleaner air is always a win too. Another good thing, looking at the back of the unit, the filters are nice and accessible. I'm not going to take that out now because the machine is on. Is there another filter down at the bottom? There might be two filters, there's at least one here. Let's just have a look this side. Uh, it doesn't look like that's a filter, it looks like that could be part of the refrigerant. Ah, that's come unclipped. Uh, don't know whether that's a manufacturing error or whether it's been uh, hit in the box, but we'll attach that back in in a minute. There is a nice easy drain hole down here if you're using it as a dehumidifier. A lot of the manufacturers, and another thing we found with the 5K unit, is the drip hole for the dehumidifier. The drain is at the bottom, which is an absolute pain in the backside. This one is halfway up the unit, nice and easy. You can put a, you know, a bucket or a bottle of water underneath and drain it straight out of there. And um, in the accessories, I'm sure it's here somewhere, along with all the fittings, there is a drain pipe, or rather kinks drain pipe, but um, there is a drain pipe in with the accessories as well, which is nice. I just wanted to clarify on the sleep mode, I've just been checking the booklet. Uh, when sleep mode is enabled, the selected temperature will increase by one degree after 30 minutes and 60 minutes. So it, it goes up two degrees uh, over the space of an hour. It will be maintained for seven hours, then we'll return to the original selected temperature. So if you keep sleep mode on, it doesn't turn off. It basically holds the temperature a little bit higher um, so you don't wake up freezing in the middle of the night. We've all done that on holiday, setting the aircon to the lowest setting we can. In terms of the timer function, I've just checked that as well. That will basically allow the unit to come on after a certain amount of time or turn the unit off after a certain amount of time, which makes it a lot easier really. So there's no sort of stored time as such. Uh, you literally tell the machine how long you want it to be until it turns off or how long you want it to be until it turns on. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the 10,000 BTU review uh, from Logic and Curry's PC World here in the UK. Um, I would definitely 
definitely recommend this unit up on first impressions. It's a lot more powerful uh, than the 5K unit we compared it to. It's, it sounds quieter. It, there does seem to be more uh, low frequency noise, which we might not hear in here, but may hear downstairs. But volume wise, it's a lot more adjustable. It cools the room a hell of a lot quicker. It is heavier. That is one thing to consider, 32 kilos if you're gonna be moving it around. But for the same price, it was 300 pounds here in the UK, the same price as the 5k unit from Argos um, I would definitely recommend it once again thanks for watching the video if you like these sorts of tech videos uh, I'm going to be doing lots more reviews very soon there are other videos live on the channel now so go and check them out uh, especially if you're on Virgin Media here in the UK I've got a little uh, tips and tricks for you on there as well uh, be sure to subscribe please hit the bell icon that would help me out massively grow the channel quicker and then I can do more videos very soon trying to help people out. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment box below. I'm always happy to try and help people. So any questions, I'm sorry we didn't uh, review the dehumidifier mode. I've got absolutely no intentions to use that whatsoever. But if you've got any questions, stick the comments in the, uh, in the comments box below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Stay safe.